Hey there guys and girls, you're back with the one and the only people. Uh, this time it's getting a little bit crafty. Now, I don't very often manage to do cheat videos and stuff like that because I'm, um, you know, I, I just, if I need a cheat, I'll go somewhere else. I don't figure them out myself. But uh, for the first time, I've actually managed to like figure out a cheaty thing. So check it out. Okay, it's Fortress Craft. Um, if you guys don't know, it, yes, okay, we can have a discussion about this is a clone of, la la la, but we can do that later. Check it out though. I'm going to reset my world and uh, I'd use these settings that you see on the screen because we're going to make everything flat, like very, very, very Holland style flat. And uh, we're going to turn all the stuff, okay, yeah. Uh, I was basically just messing around. Now there are videos out on YouTube that will show you how to get all of the relics by using a USB keyboard. That's fantastic, but maybe I'm just a little bit old school, or maybe I'm too new school. Um, I've got a USB keyboard that's wireless. Oops, my Xbox don't like it. Okay, so once I've set up the world, as you see there, um, this is what happens. It basically bombs out, but look in the sky, a relic where it would have been buried deep and dark under the uh, gravelly, soily bits, but uh, you can actually just see them all floating around. So. First off, you're going to have to kind of get to them. That involves like jumping and putting bricks under your butt and doing all that Minecraft, the Fortress Craft type stuff. Now, I picked this one up for 240 Microsoft points. I had a couple of, uh, couple of points in change. The other day, I purchased the Zombies map pack and I had a good few floating around. I have actually bought the other, um, the one that's... I can't even remember its name now. It's something else. It's another Minecraft wannabe. Uh, basically, you know, they're all pretty much the same, uh, except this one doesn't have enemies. There's basically uh, these relics, but the idea is more or less just to build what you want. In, you know, I get it Minecraft, like, got little zombie dudes and they come out at night and they kill you. So you gotta, like, build stuff to protect yourself. This one's more or less just building for fun. Um, a bunch of little bits and pieces. The relics, you can use these. To basically like make up your game types you could maybe recreate a map do stuff like that that's uh, I don't know, interesting I myself personally I've been playing with all of them um, and I'm posting this up on both channels but uh, oh we gotcha gotcha the rocket pack now this one lets me fly and once I've got that switched on then you just go and fly and fetch the rest but uh, yeah go down to the relics menu and tick tick and jetpack on and then we can fly and uh, now you can just go pick up the rest of them nice and easy. Da -da -da, trying to figure out how it works. Oh, I push the button. You push the A button, you go up. Push B button, you go down. Great, great stuff. Like I said, um, I'm not going to be like doing any major videos on any of the Minecraft or Fortress Craft or something craft uh, type games, really. I may do a few little videos, you know, for you guys. Maybe we'll do a comparison between like all three and see what's up, you know, what's up in the world of uh, Xbox Live Arcade clone versions of Minecraft. I think due to Minecraft's popularity, it's uh, pretty much easy. But there was a version of this that needed the keyboard. You'd press, I think, F1 and that made the world invisible. And like I said, I don't have a keyboard. So uh, this is done without keyboard. So I don't know if this is the first one or first, you know, little guide on how to get all the relics without a keyboard. But for you guys out there, it is like the fully up-to-date version. I only got this like maybe six days ago maybe two weeks ago, so it's like version 1.9. So, you know, it is working, it worked on mine. Uh, and I hope you guys find it useful if you do play Fortress Craft and you've been looking for them relics. Um, I did have to like kind of reset the world and build a new one afterwards. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's the right way of going about things, I'm not too sure, like I say, uh, I only had it on for a couple of minutes. But uh, off you go. You know, I was having a bit of fun, I was trying to get with the whole thing but I think, uh, I don't know, I prefer shooting like the undead or maybe blasting the brains out of something actually having a purpose other than building things. I don't know, maybe I'm just like not the Lego type of kid. I used to play loads of Lego when I was little, but I don't know, this is just like big boys Lego, isn't it? But off we go anyway, I'm going to go pick up a few more relics. I mean, that is really the tutorial, I suppose, if you follow the... Um, the setup that I used for the world in the beginning hopefully you'll get a world that kind of looks the same and very devoid of anything and all your relics will be floating in the sky but I'm not going to slag them off I do actually you know they they do have their purpose and they are pretty cool fun games to play if you want to go and kill maybe 45 minutes and you just want to chill out and relax and you don't actually want to shoot the daylights out of anything 
then by all means go out build a massive pyramid blow up things i mean i spent ages just popping dynamite everywhere once i found the uh the dynamite thing and off i went so i was blowing holes in just for the fun of it really see how many holes you can blow up i know guys like going out there building like the biggest pile of you know biggest pile of dynamite or the world's biggest ball of bombs and you know people go and copy the seven wonders of the world and, you know each to your own really um but if I wanted a picture of Pac-Man, I'd download one from Google Images, really. I wouldn't spend three and a half days making one. But then, of course, it's all your world, so uh, do what you want with it, really. But they are pretty cool to play. Like I said, I think I may give the uh, the more, I don't know, the more game-orientated style ones uh, a go. The ones like Minecraft, where you actually have enemies that can kill you and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, you know, actually having something to go up against. We've got some cool water boots and all sorts. But uh, yeah, there it is, guys. I'm going to leave you with that. You know how to grab them now. So if you have got Fortress Craft and you're wondering how to find all the relics, well, then by all means, uh, I hope you found it helpful. Like I say, it does involve resetting the world. But, uh, you know, I suppose if there's a different way of doing it, maybe just implement those settings somehow. I am pretty new to it, but I just figured this one out. And I thought, well, you know, I've never made a cheesy type discovery video. So here's one for you guys that you can use and abuse uh, as much as you like. I hope you have fun with it, guys. I'll check you in the next one. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day, yo, people. I'll see you around.